You guys are gonna love me after this video because if you enable the following three settings, your entire gaming view is about to change. So after I actually enabled it, I've got about 150 frames per second more. So if we add that to 300, it's about 450 frames per second average. So sometimes it sparks to 500 if I'm lucky, which even though I've got a 144 hertz screen, just knowing I run 400 plus frames per second is totally mind blowing. Technically, if you think about it, 150 frames per second might not sound a lot, but that's technically two PlayStations combined, because one PlayStation obviously runs 60 frames per second. If we move all of that to the side, it also drastically improves my input speeds of my devices, such as my keyboard and my mouse. So if we all go into Notepad now and you start typing a sentence, you might not notice it, but it's a very, very, very slight response rate. Let's say, for example, 5 milliseconds. But once you play a game, that 5 milliseconds can drastically increase by 4 or 5 times, because your computer is actually focusing on the graphics and the gameplay and the internet is draining us. So, so many things it's got to focus more on. So so as I say, after increasing, while well, doing these three settings, my input devices increase. And to give you guys an example on Fortnite, when you have got a high ping such as we do, you don't really have to look down when you do your 90s to place your floor because actually your game is delayed. But since I've changed these settings, I actually have to look down now because I keep on trapping myself in constantly with the floor. So yes, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. First thing is to ensure that your NVIDIA drivers are up to date. So if you guys don't know how to do it, it's technically very simple. You just go into any browser, at the top, you can just type NVIDIA drivers. It's going to give you the entire search results. We can just click on download drivers or you can do automatic detect NVIDIA, but usually you got to install, I think, Java, but they do give you the option to install it. So then it automatically search for it. And then yes, let's just quickly go in here. Then you can technically just run through here, put all your graphics card settings in, for example, myself I run a GeForce uh, 1060 but yeah you guys can go in do all that search and install once you installed it you're gonna probably have the latest one but otherwise if you do have Nvidia drivers on already you can just go to GeForce experience as you guys can see I've got it here you technically just gonna double click on it it's gonna open this you guys are gonna log in I'm not gonna log in now I was actually logged in until I made this video and it kicked me out for some reason but anyway you're gonna just say log in and right there you guys can see drivers you're gonna click on it it's gonna tell you if you got the latest drivers or you need to update again or whatever the case is so yeah you're gonna update it because this settings requires you to have the latest Nvidia update so once your Nvidia update is there everything is done and completed you are gonna right click and you're gonna go to Nvidia control panel you might have to restart your computer after you have updating it to display everything so yes you're gonna end up at this screen right over here so usually you change your resolution and all of that stuff so for myself and you you guys are gonna have to go to manage 3D settings. This is really important. This is where you're going to get the option. You're going to scroll down a bit, not too far. You guys are going to look for... Where is it now? Low latency mode. There we go. You're just technically going to click on it and you're going to put it on ultra. This is going to be the most important adjustment of everything. I'm not even lying guys. Like this literally helps your graphics card to process what's actually happening in a game before it's actually displaying it, if I can say it to you guys like that. For example, you will be able to place a wall, even though your graphics card haven't properly displayed it yet, the wall will already be there. So you'll already have that few milliseconds extra. It's going to help you with your keyboard and mouse input. This is super, super important. Once you have that, you can just click apply. So then you're going to go to the subject number two. So once you're done with the NVIDIA update, you guys are going to go to your search bar. You're going to type in graphic settings, but as you guys can see, it already popped up there at the top. You're going to click on it and you're going to go to browse. So technically what you guys got to do now is go and locate where your Fortnite is installed. You see with myself, I don't install all my stuff on local disk C because I'm running out of space as you guys can see. I save my stuff onto a second hard drive. But for you guys, you'll find it under local disk C probably. And then you're going to go to program files and epic games. So right over here, there will be a folder saying Fortnite. So if you guys can just give me one second program files no 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 there it is fortnite so yes there is my fortnite you're gonna double click on fortnite you're gonna go to fortnite game you're gonna go binaries you're gonna go win64 and you are gonna select this one fortnite client win64 shipping you guys will notice there's actually three with shipping a be and an eac at the end you don't want to click on those only click with the one with nothing at the back just shipping 
So once you click on it, you're going to press options and you're going to take it from system default to high performance. This will literally make sure that when your computer is running Fortnite, it's going to focus most of its concentration and everything on Fortnite. So it's not going to worry too much about any of the other settings. It's just going to make sure you are getting the satisfaction out of your game that you should get. So once you've done that, that is the second one complete. So for the third one, we are going to go back here. We are going to type in power and sleep settings. So yeah, this is when your Fortnite is getting tired. No, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. So yes, once you got into your power and sleep mode, you're gonna go to additional power settings once you're in here you're gonna take it to high performance guys this is really important if you take it to high performance your entire computer will improve so as you guys can know like this works with power options so technically it's on balance we're trying to um, balance between performance and still sa energy saving so taking going to high performance might chase your bill up with maybe a few cents but anyway the the performance you'll get out of your computer will be so much more as I say I got about 150 more frames per second I am super happy even if I have to play the extra dollar or 10 rand a month I really don't mind so yes guys that definitely will change your entire gameplay um, this literally works with any game guys not just Fortnite if you think your computer can't handle some of the games just maybe try those settings maybe you'll be able to run them smoothly without any lagging or whatever the case is and if you guys did find this really helpful thank you so much guys please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe i would really really appreciate it and if you got any comments drop it in the link uh in the comments below i would really appreciate it. but for now cheers guys